So I hope you're doing great and you're having an awesome day. So this is Trend Motion Africa and today I want to show you some amazing stuff. So I want to show you how you can be able to import a custom image and use it in your Archicad. I use it in your um, Twin Motion 2024 preview one so this is twin motion 2024 preview one and as you know as of now it is free for everyone to use unless you make a lot of money that's when you can be able to purchase it so my laptop is a little bit old old very old that's why you can hear it's making a lot of noise background noises but i'll try to be because i'm trying to contribute some money so that I can be able to get another one and I hope with time I'll be able to afford another one anyway so I'm looking for a room where I can be able to show you how you can be able to do this because I don't want to waste a lot of your time so the first thing that you have to do is you go to objects and uh, you look for the image that you want there are two ways that you can be able to do this you can either place it on uh, let me go to images i'm going to objects home then i go to decorations living room and then decorations that's where i find uh images so like i said my laptop will make a lot of the fans will make a lot of noise whenever i run to motion that's why sometimes i fail to do it in motion tutorials anyways let me uh let me start with a simple one so a simple one is like this one if i have this image this is just an image you don't have anything on top of it anything like a glass you just have an image so in this case what i do is you click on the pencil picker you want or the material picker you want to pick the material so that you can go and change the texture for the same so i come and now i click on what i want to pick you see if i click the material picker now my pc is hanging if i click here it will be able to select this object material on this other end now the user interface is different from other previous version of twin motion from 2022 going backwards the user interface is a little bit is a little bit different now you have the materials on this side so if i select on this because i want to make this one to be my custom image i've just gone and dropped the image on my scene where i want it to be so i click on it and once i click on it i'm able to see this one here so once i see this one here on the material side you go to the first one that you have is color you know you can be able to play with the color if you want to but that's not what i want for me i want this little thing here called details so i click on details and once i click on details can be able to see texture so what you want to do is actually what you're going to do is you're going to bring in a different texture which will be the image for your picture that you want to place in your building and now of course we know you can be able to create images with even being uh, ai or copilot you can go to copilot and you create your own image and now you can pull it here like i've already created one so i'll click here and once i click here it brings you this stuff here so i want to choose open then it will open my laptop where i have stored the files that i want you go and pick where you have your file so in downloads this one i just created it today i click on it then i click open so once i click open it will be able to bring it so mine is delaying a little bit because of like i said i'm using a very outdated laptop to run in motion i need to update man i need to update but of course i'm trying to contribute some little money little, little money so that i can be able to afford a very nice pc and i'll be able to do very amazing tutorials of your choose so once you have it here now you can try to adjust the scale if you want here you have the option to click on the scale and you can be able to reduce expand or do whatever you want with it whatever you want yeah so now i can bring it here like this way not that way, yeah that way you can even adjust the position if you want in terms of height in terms of uh, 
you want to reduce the height or you where you want to place it just go with how you feel it so this is one way then there's another another way of bringing an image into motion and in that way this one you just have an image there's no glass on the top but say you want one which has a glass on the top now that one is the one which is a little bit tricky but it's also very pretty easy so i'm looking for a position let me place it here because i don't want to delete the other one Other. so this was a kid's bedroom when i did it many years ago also this is just the pretty same way that you are able to import these images here pretty easy 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 so once i bring it here like this one so this one has a glass on the top and it also has a frame that you can be able to see you can be able to change the color of the frame if you want if you want to you can do anything to mouse on yeah so for you to do this one the best way that i will advise anyone if you're just beginning to do this kind of things the best thing is uh, like for this one start with the scale magnify it so that it won't give you a hard time you can increase the scale not magnify increase the scale uh, this way but of course these things i've done before on another channel i used to have another channel but now i do a lot of robotics thing on there so yeah but of course you can support me on this channel Mazi. you can support me by subscribing it will be very helpful i just have two subscribers and i would like to get many more so that i can be able to monetize so that i can buy a new pc so once i increase this scale this way i'm going to decrease it later now i can choose again the material picker but if i click on this what i'm going to select is the glass because my laptop is low it delays to update you motherfucker so you can be able to see this one is glass yeah but for me i don't want the glass i want the image behind the glass so because i want the image behind the glass to do it you just zoom zoom do the zooming man do the zooming do the zoom dance so you just zoom and once i zoom best way is to pan it now i think no, not pan rotate it i rotate it by holding the sometimes i forget between left and right left can right so you hold the right mouse button and you rotate your mouse this way this way just slowly 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 until you will see something i'll show you when it appears we need to peace we need to peace there is it Where is it where is it now where is it 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 it does not it appeared so let's do it again again we go again there so now here you can be able to see there's something blue here and there is also this one this one is glass now this is the image our image now if you click on it you see you can be able to select the image and if i click here i'm able to select the glass this is the image this is the glass so all you have to do is just rotate it at an angle and is you you will be able to see the image now once you are able to select the image behind the glass you can now go to texture i don't want color my my pc is slow slow and i want to do a lot of in motion to do is but that motherfucker so once i selected that way now you can be able to see it looks pretty amazing and if you find that the scale of your image maybe is not going well with uh, what you have now you can go you can select the scale and you do adjust it according to how you feel it if you want it to be this way you can just do that pretty easy and i think this one looks better because it has a glass on the top it has that like um glossy it has that glossy kind of feeling compared to the other one which you can, i'm sure you can be able to see the difference so it all depends with which one you want to use and like i've said the best way to go about it is you first increase the scale once you increase the scale just go at an angle and you start rotating your you are you uh, i hold the left mouse button and i begin rotating it so now because the scale is small you see this one is the frame but for me i don't want the frame 
so i can try to zoom ahead to zoom that way then i can continue continue or sometimes then at a certain angle you will be able to see it so once you see it once you click on it it will come you see easy pretty easy and for me it is easy but you know for you for some people it will be difficult but if it is difficult you can always um, comment the issue in the inbox not inbox in the comment section also i'll leave my email in the comment section you can always reach out and maybe you can do as not a zoom a google meet kind of thing then i can explain it to you better but you can see how my laptop is low now i have to end this one at this point thank you for sticking around to this end if you did